Good morning. This is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. Please hit the like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please. It would help us a lot. Um, today I received what we call a senior box here. Here. It's given mainly to seniors, low income, and those they have to qualify by income. So we get an assortment of things. I'm going to show you what we have from this month. The first thing we have, and I will be taking them out of the box as they come, so um, be patient with me. First thing we have is the beef stew. This is a good one. Um, I have several packages of this. I usually add rice or something else to it to make it go a little bit further. Um, it's good. It's a good one. So that's okay. Another thing I got was rice. Um, and you usually get rice in the in the uh, box, macaroni, uh, some kind of thing. So we got the beef stew. We also got the uh, Creator Premium Chunk White Chicken. Can you see that? Or is that really showing there? There we go. Um, white chicken. Twelve and a half ounces, and it's really good. I uh, add that to add that to a lot of casseroles and so forth. In fact, I have a recipe coming up with um, chicken fritters that I used with it, and it was a good one. And so another thing we got was veg vegetable soup. I guess it's just plain vegetable soup. It usually says vegetarian soup. Anyway, we got just soup. Um, I use that a lot also in casseroles. Um, I have one thing I really like it in, and I use it as, I call it Girl Scout, Girl Scout hash. It's a Girl Scout recipe that I learned a long, long time ago. It involves vegetable soup and, um, and uh, cream and mushroom soup and hamburger, and it's just plain hash, okay? Those are three or four things. All right, we start pulling out of the box. Green beans. We got them. It's usually low sodium, but they aren't. Uh, doesn't say that this time. Okay, green beans. We can always use beans. Next one. Diced tomatoes. Whoops. Well, I think it's diced, diced potatoes. I'm sorry. All right. That come in, come in handy too. We usually get the whole potatoes or the slices. We don't get the dice, but that's a good. That's a good one to have in your in your pantry too. Okay, we got that. Here's my diced tomatoes, and I can never have enough diced tomatoes. Or tomatoes. I use tomatoes for everything and in everything. This is a low sodium one. Um, I go through a lot of tomatoes, and it's also good for you, and a lot of times I roast them or use them on a salad. I just use a lot of potatoes, uh, tomatoes, okay? Oh, I don't know if I can get the next one. Next one, peas, low-sodium peas. We used there for a while. We weren't getting much at all in our boxes. Of, yeah, it was a lot of things. But I think they started realizing that, hey, those of us that have low income need a little bit more help. And so they are really filling our boxes full. And um, I really appreciate it. That's what, four, four vegetables that I've got. I don't know how much more I've got. Plus the beef stew. Plus, what's this one? Applesauce. We get a lot of applesauce in it. That's okay too, because I use applesauce in a lot of vegetables. And my grandkids love applesauce. Next one, I'm just grabbing here. Black beans. We get a lot of black beans too, and we have a, a lot of people who won't even cook with black beans. And so that comes on our table. We have a table over at the center that's free. You put anything on it you want. Uh, if you don't want it, and then somebody can take it, I mean, if you want it. So we get a lot of black beans on the table because nobody, oh. In our 
culture up here. We didn't use beans. I'm sorry. I know you did down south and so forth. But we didn't up here. Uh, I can't remember my parents ever having beans except for um, when mom would make baked beans for a get together. And that's the only time we had beans. Or she made beans. And I don't remember her ever making rice. And the only rice dish we used to got was glorified rice. Um, that's just the way it was in my family. So I'm learning all these things and all these tricks to cook with. Here's another black bean. So I got two black beans. Okay? Like I said, they put them on the, on the, on the table and they don't know what to do with it. And somebody one day I took some and I said, why don't you use, why do you guys, why don't you guys use this stuff? And black beans are, you know, the healthiest of all the beans you can get. And so I said, why aren't you using them? And they looked at me and said, oh, who wants black beans? Ba 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 ba. And I go, okay, um, all right. I see you can use if if you want use it in anything. I said you don't have to be use it in your chili. Use it in your in your um, salad. Use it as refried beans. Do it all. They all looked at me like I was crazy. Black beans like that. I said, well, if you don't want to do that, I said, then there's a corn and a, a bean salad or salsa you can make. Oh, that might be interesting. So they took a can of beans back, but the next month they were all back, so they didn't like that either. So anyway, but the black beans are the most, the healthiest of all those you can get. Okay? One serving gives you seven grams of protein. Remember, beans are a good source for protein here, and we're going to have to be looking for them. Another thing we got was another diced tomato, a potato. So that's what, five vegetables I've got? Five different kinds of vegetables? Hey, we're going on a roll right now. What else have I got? I got peanut butter. We always have peanut butter in there. Just depends on what we have, what kind. We always have peanut butter. Okay, so we've got the peanut butter. Oh. Farina. We've got that. That's almost like um, cream of wheat. But there again, people don't know how to cook with it. They don't know it. And uh, some of them reach the stage where they're not going to try it. I mean, that's enough of that. I don't need this stuff. I never ate it. I'm not going to do it. That's fine. That's fine, keep bringing them over to the free table, I'll take them home because uh, it is good. And I, there's also a salad that I should look up that recipe and print it for you guys. It's an a given recipe that you would have. Another one, apricots I got. Okay. And then we get, generally we get apricots a lot. Uh, we get uh, applesauce a lot. Peaches most of the time. Uh, we don't generally get that many vegetables or fruits. What else have we got? I got a package of bubble, bubble macaroni. So that's a good one too. I use that a lot. And then I've got two of these that I can see. I'm not going to dig them all out. They're shelf stable milk. They're just the 1%. But I use it a lot of times in uh, cooking. Um, I don't drink it. I use it in my cooking. I know it doesn't probably give us as much um, at whole milk or as 2% or any of the other milks. But it's better than nothing at all. And it does give you 9 grams of, eight, yeah, 8 grams of um, protein per serving. So that's not bad, is it? All right, our cheapest. Proteins. I gotta think when you're in this thing, in this box, and it says cheapest proteins are being, uh, um, eggs and dairy. And so they advise us to put more eggs and have scrambled egg, dairy, add sour cream, cream cheese, butter, something like that to it. Alright, another one we've got is this wheat bran flakes. And there again. I add raisins to it, and we have raisin bran, okay? So that's a very simple thing for us to do. And I have raisins, I have raisins in my stockpiles to work, okay? Okay, here comes the next one. Oh, I got it. 
topping of tomato juice. How about that? I like that. I can use that in my, my, uh, oh yeah, I can use that for everything. Tomato juice, tomatoes, uh, sorry, tomato is something where I always go to. My tomato juice I'll probably use in my chili, okay? At least part of it. So there's a lot of cheese, uh, fish recipe that I can use it in, a stew. And my last thing is grapefruit juice. Oh, orange juice, okay. Orange juice gave me a scare there, because I thought, mm. Okay, orange juice. And uh, that's a different one. We usually get we usually get just one juice in the thing, but we used to get two, but we only get one lately, and, and we didn't. So they've stepped it up, because um, I think they figured seniors are going to need it. Low-income guy, people aren't going to be able to buy the food, so we better step it up if they're not going to freeze. That's, that's my state, okay? So that's what was in my senior box for this month. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. Uh, we get it every month. I guess, um, I could say I only got one meat thing, but I got two. I got my chicken, I got my beef stew. Okay, so have a great day. We'll see you later. God bless you all. Bye-bye.